In this video, I'm going to spend some time talking about the flight control system in the F-16. We'll start with angle of attack and how to tell your angle of attack in the HUD. We'll talk about the 1G concept of the flight control system and how to trim the aircraft. We'll demonstrate the G command concept and how that switches to an angle of attack blend after 15 degrees angle of attack. Demonstrate the angle of attack limiter and talk about flight control system changes with the gear down and how to trim the aircraft for landing. So to start, I want to get familiar with a few uh, things in the aircraft. The top left of the HUD is current G on the aircraft, so we're level flight here, 1G. This cross right here is the boresight cross. So this is where the nose of the aircraft is pointing. Uh, and this is the flight path marker and horizon line right here. Now, one concept that's important to understand is the distance or the, the difference between the flight path marker and the boresight cross is going to give us our angle of attack. We have an angle of attack indicator down here that shows five degrees. And you can see the difference here between the boresight cross and the flight path marker is five degrees. If you look outside the aircraft, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but angle of attack and level flight here is basically the angle at which the relative wind is meeting the aircraft. So if you can see that the aircraft looks like it's tilted up about five degrees. This is kind of like what the, you know, what the air sees. If you're an individual air molecule and you're throwing yourself the airplane, it's kind of seeing an angle like this. So it's using that much angle to generate lift. So the flight control system in the F-16 it's fly-by-wire, and what that means for us is that what we do with the stick is essentially asking for things in terms of G. We can ask for things in terms of angle of attack, and we can ask for roll rate, basically. So if you look at the top left here, 1.0. In normal flight, this system is always seeking 1G, unless we tell it something else with the stick. And Right now it's seeking a zero degree roll weight because I'm not commanding anything with the stick. If I roll right, I'm commanding a right roll rate. If I roll left, I'm commanding a left roll rate. And the way the flight control system works is essentially we, we command something and it's going to do what it needs to do with our control services to try to give us that. So it's going to move the uh, trailing edge flaps, it's going to move the elevators to try to give us what we were asking for. I'm just going to demonstrate the 1G concept really quick. You can see we have 1G here. If I pull back on the stick, I'm going to command a positive G, so I'm commanding two Gs. If I roll inverted and release the stick, it's going to seek 1G, so I've, I've released the stick. Roll back up, release the stick, seeking 1G talk about how the trim works in normal flight. So the trim in the F-16 is actually uh, you're commanding G with the trim. When might we use that? The only example I can think of is, is really in a turn. If you wanted to trim the aircraft out so it would turn and you didn't have to hold the stick back, you could do that. So I'm rolling right and I'm pulling back on the stick to maintain a level turn. And you can see that I have about like 1.6 G's here, 1.7. So I'm gonna now trim up. Okay, and I'm hands off flight right now. I've trimmed the aircraft. I've trimmed the flight control system to maintain 1.7 G's instead of 1 G. So when I roll out of this turn, I'm gonna have to remove that or I'll climb. I'll demonstrate. So I'm rolling out. I haven't touched the trim. I haven't touched the stick. And now I'm climbing at 1.7 G's, so it's trimmed for 1.7. We'll trim it back to one. A couple clicks, and now I'm trimmed back to one G. For a descent, I could trim it for some negative G's if I wanted the plane to sort of pitch down. It's just demonstration. So now I've trimmed it to 0.4 G's. I'm hands off. I'm going to do a couple more clicks back up on the trim. I'm going to trim it back for 1G. So back to angle of attack for a second. 
the flight control system on the F-16 uh, seeks to maintain 1G until it reaches 15 degrees angle of attack. And at that point, if you want to exceed 15 degrees angle of attack, you have to put uh, back stick control input in, into the aircraft. Uh, it won't try to maintain 1G past 15 degrees angle of attack. So it seeks to maintain 1G until 15 degrees angle of attack, and then after 15 degrees, it requires your input in order to exceed that angle of attack. And why is that? So past 15 degrees, um, you'll notice the aircraft start shaking. Really, uh, when you're getting in those high angle of attack situations, the, the designers wanted you to basically be aware that um, and that's the reason they require you to uh, provide back stick to get more than 15 degrees angle of attack. Past, past that angle of attack, um, you're getting lots of airframe buffeting. You're, and actually, as you get all the way up to the limiter near 25 degrees, you're actually going to be getting less lift for increased angle of attack. But the aircraft can maintain controlled flight all the way up to that angle of attack, so it will let you have it if you ask for it. All right, so I'm going to do a demonstration of that real quick. So we're just slowing down. I'm hands off the stick. You'll notice 1G. And it's staying more or less level in flight at 1G. My angle of attack is increasing as I'm slowing. And the aircraft needs more angle of attack to generate the lift that it needs to overcome Earth's 1G of gravity. Passing through 10. And this flight path marker is just going to drop off the HUD. Now here's coming up on 15, and at 15 you'll notice that the aircraft is going to start um, pitching down because it's not going to exceed that 15 degrees. And I'm just hands off right here. No, uh, throttle all the way back. So if I need more than that, I need to ask for it. So I'm going to start pulling back on the stick gently. Try and keep that AOA in there. And you'll notice that the aircraft starts buffeting and shaking. And at this point, we're sort of reaching the critical angle of attack of the wings where um, they're not really producing a whole lot extra lift. You're getting lots and lots of extra drag, but not much more extra lift as we get into these high angles of attack. I'm going to keep coming back on the stick all the way to the limiter of 25 degrees. Alright, I'm all the way back on the stick. We're at 25. Airplane's shaking like crazy. But we're still in controlled flight. And I'm going to recover, so I'm just going to release the stick. And it's once it gets under 15 degrees, it's just going to try to maintain 1G. So another thing I want to take a look at here is just slow flight. I've got the stick all the way back. I'm level. Thing has tons of power, just using it to stay level. All the way at the limiter. And if you look at how the F-16 works, at this point we're not really generating lift necessarily in the traditional sense by using our wings and nice laminar airflow over the wings. At 25 degrees angle of attack, it's really the whole aircraft, sort of the lifting body concept is generating lift. Even those uh, horizontal stabilizers back there are generating lift for the aircraft. You can imagine, we're leveled now, just imagine how the air is meeting the aircraft. So the aircraft's perfectly stable, it's in controlled flight. In a normal aircraft, at this angle of attack, you'd consider that stalled, but because the F-16 has you know, advanced flight control computers, it can remain stable and still generate some lift at the cost of massive, massive drag. It's taken us 7,000 pounds an hour to stay level. So the logic of the flight control system changes a little bit uh, with the landing gear down. In that mode, it goes to a pitch. Instead of commanding G, you're commanding pitch rate. So I'm going to put the gear down. Your 
brakers down, speed brakes are out. So I'm a little bit fast, and I'm just a touch high on glide path. You can see if you, this uh, 2.5 degree pitch ladder right here. If you sort of get that on the threshold, it's going to be exactly where you want. So the aircraft will control, will give you uh, controls pitch rate, sorry, your stick controls pitch rate up to 10 degrees AOA. And ideally you want 11 degrees AOA, which is the top of that uh, bracket. In order to get that, you're going to need to click up on trim a couple of times. There we go. I'm right at 11 degrees AOA now. Hands off. And if I hadn't trimmed the nose up a couple clicks here, I'd have to be holding the stick back to get this AOA. Increase power just a touch to change my glide path. There we go. Got it lined up with the two and a half degree pitch ladder just in front of the touchdown markers. It's right where I want. Start to ease the power back and begin to flare. Just keeping the stick back for that air braking. Let the nose come down on its own. Nose wheel steering's on, wheel brakes. And then push the speed brakes all the way out and get everything you can out of them. Alright, I hope that was helpful, and I hope I didn't get anything wrong. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.